check again. Silence. <laughs> yeah, why is it not silent? That's a good My question. My phone's usually never in silence. It's always when we least expect it. It's good to go, right? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Would you like to play a game of chess? Yeah. I play very well. She's looking for a sponsor like Nike or Converse She ran into a monster like Scarface and Nino I'm James with the bong for the money I'm Al Pacino I know I'm living wrong but I'm cashing out like Casino I'm Michael Jackson, you Tito, got your bitch stroking my ego Hit it like a free throw when I'm smoking on his lethal No, this money don't make itself, I gotta, gotta make this money Yes, I'm looking to the sky, got my feet to the ground I am rolling up a pound, smoking, smoking, smoking now Yes, there's money on my mind, tell these rats don't make a sound if you squeal it's going down automatic rounds when we come to paint the town <laughs> yeah i know these niggas jealous i, I can feel it that they envy but i pray for they soul because we all don't grow Shitty old yes you reap what much. you sow got my eye on the go put these bitches on hold getting money to go members only jacket got me feeling so pro i am all on my toes and if you know like i know it's money over bitches bitches it's kg bitches bitches yo 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 how do i sound you sound pretty good what about now even better i think we sound <laughs> even think, better i think we sound all right right here guys I think we sound all right right here. Mm -hmm. Not too crazy. <laughs> we'll see how it goes. You know, we're we're working with limited equipment, with uh, multiple persons. So, yeah. Limited equipment with uh, exacerbated circumstances. I have no idea what I just said. What the fuck is exacerbated? I. <laughs> that's the better question, I think. That that is I true. I do not know. <laughs> You know, That's what I'm about to find out. As, as always, we always got got your boy Lolo standing next to me. Yo, it's your boy, and uh, I don't really want to say much, but what I do want to say is just read him and weep right here. Happy holidays, everybody. Yes, yes. It's your boy Lolo, a.k.a. the big package, a.k.a. Uh, Santa's big helper. Don't forget, a.k.a. I'm going to give you the pickle. A.k.a. I'm going to give you the pickle. No tickle. For a nickel. No tip, but I give you the tip. <laughs> oh, shit. And over here is my boy. It's my boy, Maticles. Matt, say hi to the fans over here. Hey, hey, what's good, everybody? As you know, everybody, it's, uh, it's your boy, Maticles, a.k.a. Goons Lurkin. Mm-hmm. A.k.a. Weird Beard. Okay. A.k.a. Crunchitize Me Captain. <laughs> Don't forget the good old AKA uh Braulio's daddy. Mm. Mm, that one's that one's questionable. I don't yes, know about yes. that one. And you know, speaking of Braulio, we do have for those of you who don't know this man next to me, our producers did give us a little intro for this guy. So, you know, right here standing to the left of me, we have the man that is credited with creating the first non-binary Pokemon. He once recorded a sack, forced two fumbles, recovered one, and then broke 13 tackles and scored a touchdown all on one play. The man that eats curry iguanas for breakfast before his 20-mile morning hike through the plateaus of Texas. Mm -hmm. And the man that has more butt plugs than fantasy trophies. Everybody give it up for Braulio. What's up? It's your boy. <laughs> What's good? Welcome back. Welcome back to the Wookiesburg Podcast. Second appearance. Yes, second, second appearance. Second. Second. Is he the first guest to be on twice? Uh, maybe. I maybe. think so. Maybe. Bad Chris or Champ Champ? Interim Champ? Champ Champ Interim Champ was, was, he was here once. No, uh, he was one once. I think he was once. Michael, maybe. Maybe Michael unofficially maybe it was just once. than once. Unofficially. He, he was on the phone. That's why. He was on the phone once. Uh, That's what happened. The there phone. you go. Brett was one. Brett was one because he was on the same episode. So. Yeah, 
So yeah, you're the, the first returning guest nice. on the Wookiesburg podcast. Yes, yes. AKA BQ01. BQ01, yeah. yeah. Yes, yes. Uh, it was a tough outing, you know. My de- my team decided to implode in the playoffs. That's really what happened, if I'm That's being perfect. honest. Yeah. So. And for 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 and those he sounds of, perfect, right? He does sound perfect. For those of us that don't know, uh, what what team do you manage in the in the Wookiesburg address? Uh, I manage uh, Revenge of the PT Bruisers. Yeah, Revenge of the PT Bruisers. And uh, oh, yeah. well, you got revenged upon. <laughs> this past, we'll we'll get into that in a second, but. <laughs> The revenge is coming now, I guess, from you. <laughs> <laughs> like, you're revenging this. Yes. yes. Oh, my Call God. Call the Dominican Avenger. What's up? Yes. <laughs> El Yatu Sabe Avenger coming, baby. Uh, so, I don't mean to hijack the order here, but before we get into that, do we have to do some bonus work? Is that what's going to um, happen? I mean, uh, again, I wasn't too prepared for the bonus time. So, I'm that's just, a no. I'm going to make everybody else do their own bonus. Uh, there you go. You know, their own bonus work. First but come, we, first serve. Do you want a bonus? To, first to contact us, get a bonus right now. we do have to pull out the, the, uh, the bonus out of the hat for, you know, uh, I would assume next week's bonus. Correct. Which would be this week right now. So week 15. Week 15, correct. Right? No. No, I, I think week we're 16. Week 16. Week 16. 16. Week, 16. Week, 16. week 16. week 15 the is the recap. We're going to recap week 15. Yes, and then we and have the week leading 16 into week 16. bonus right here. I don't remember what last week's bonus was. Do you by chance? Uh, Actually, I don't I don't remember. All right. No worries. Mm. Like I said, the, the producers are uh, slacking, at their, uh, slacking at their job like usual. So yeah. we'll, uh, we'll see what happens. Yeah. You know, uh, we'll get on it. But here we go. We're going to have a special guest. Probably pull. Oh, wait, hold on first. Bonus time, babies. Bonus time. Everybody loves our, you know, we begin a lot of hot comments. Hot, hot, steamy comments about our dancing. So mm. we got to keep really? it up for the fans. Yeah, really? Yeah. yeah. I'm glad I, I did that. Man. Yeah, exactly. So we're going to see how they fun. like yours. Hey, man, so, see, that's a sign of the times. They used to censor Elvis for dancing like that, bro, and here we are just gyrating up here. Boy, it's all good. That's it. Hey, if they play wet-ass pussy on the radio, we can yeah. wiggle our packages around. I, I, I wonder. I don't, I don't listen to the radio anymore. I don't, I don't know about you guys. I don't know about you guys, but when they play wet-ass pussy on the radio, what's the substitute for pussy? Nah, what word are they you, using? You're lying. You, don't, you really don't know what it is? No, I don't. I've only heard so, the actual so like, the version. So the radio edit version is uh, wet and gushy. No, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> I heard that it's yeah, not even yeah. three words. Well, I guess technically. Wet and gushy. Yeah. That makes yeah. And and I guess okay. <laughs> yeah. So it's wag instead of wap. Oh it's not even the same letters, bro. Know, like, hey, the name of the to, song is not even the same. They gotta that's do what they gotta do, man. You that, know. Do it hey. for the kids, man. The kids. You know. Yeah. 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 I guess. Yes, yeah. Yes. So, you know. Um, gushy. What were we? Oh, bonus. You know. And he talk about wet-ass pussy gets guy, a bunch of guys uh, off sidetrack. I already forgot. We're doing a podcast right now? What's going on? Yeah, right? Yeah. I see that package. We, I hear bells jingling. Is that Santa? All right. You're going to pull a bonus number out of the hat. Oh, All right. Oh, oh. <laughs> bonus number 16. Oh, wow. That's 16. a high number. Week 16, bonus 16. Oh, That's crazy. Holy shit. Okay. All right. We did not rig that. There are more numbers in here. That's crazy. <laughs> there we go. And, you know. I'm Don't believe what they tell you. <laughs> I'm always I'm always ready as usual. Yeah, so uh, <laughs> you guys need to know that we're now two weeks into the playoffs. We're going to recap last week in a second here. But while we put up that bonus list, I just want to congratulate everybody on a tremendous season. If you made the playoffs, congratulations. If you didn't make the playoffs, man, you got some work to do. But luckily, you have like six months to do it. So there's always yes, next yes. year. Well, as we know, you know, I did not make the playoffs. But we're getting reports that, you know, there is a when, – when a team is backed by Lolo – so far, they are zero and two on making playoffs. So we're, we're right. trying. To, we have a lot of uh, people, a lot of investigation going on to see right. what's going on. There. I think. But, uh, yeah, I think I know what it is. I think I'm just. I'm back in idiots. I think that's my problem. Yeah, okay. I gotta get better at. All right. Yeah. 
So what about what about the what about this the season before Lolo backs somebody, they make playoffs, and then also mm-hmm. what about the season that Lolo gets kicked to the curb from uh, Mike Drills? He then goes on for his best season yet. Well, that's the residuals of having me there last year. You know what I mean? Like, you oh, know, my, in, you, I, I planted my seeds and I dipped. That's all I need to do. You all know, right, all right. you're like uh, you're like the president. You you, you 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 think Johnny Appleseed stood there for fucking twenty years to see those trees grow after he planted them? He planted them and dipped, baby. Keep moving. So I'm just right, dropping so seeds everywhere. So you're saying I'm <laughs> <laughs> in more ways than one. Oh, yeah. Yeah. oh yeah, oh yeah. And uh, so you're saying next year I'll be set up for success. Uh. Don't quote me on that, but maybe, yes. <laughs> do I have to keep you around? I would hope so. Do, do I have to keep you around or get rid of your ass? I think the chances increase if I'm around, but you know what they say. The farther I'm away, the longer I'll be around. No. Wait. The longer I'm away, the sooner I'll be back. All right, so never mind. This is not, the word's not in there at all. So. <laughs> I was confused the whole way. It was a wild ride. <laughs> yeah. Until the end. Until I, until I, <laughs> yeah, I cleared it up. Yeah, <laughs> Man, we'll see. We'll see. But uh, I have no reason to to believe that uh, we will be separated. All right, all right. Yeah, you're right. You're right about that one. This is a fluke. This is a fluke season for you, Matthew. Let's yeah, be, usually let's is. Be real. I proved it uh, somehow. I don't remember how. But, yeah, it's definitely a fluke season. But also, remember, I told you my league. It's built, flu season also. I told you my league's built on patterns, you know. So every every year in my league, I go one year making it, one year not. Next right. Next year making it, next year not. So, Pattern continues. You should have told me that before I backed you this season. Hey, that probably would have helped I, out. I, I probably did. You probably just weren't listening. You might have, that might have been the, the, the muffin night. When the muffin, I won't argue when that. the muffin man came through with all his goodies. Mm, what happened there? Remember we ate all the muffins and mm. things got uh, also hot Things got a little trippy steamy. after that. Oh, yeah. I was half-masked by the end of that second brownie. Just sucked on that thing. That shit got me a little hot and steamy right there. Ooh. Wow. If we could zoom in on what he just did, <laughs> the producers, <laughs> that would be crazy. Well. Those oh, cheeks are going in. That boy's sucking. The fuck? Take that. Come here. Give me some of that. Oh, my God. That's Jason Bourne. Jesus Christ, that's Jason Bourne. They call me Matt Bourne. I just want someone to be like peeking through the window as that happened. Jesus Christ, <laughs> he's doing it. <laughs> it's finally happening. He did. I would have to have my hair down. <laughs> On some Oppenheimer shit, but it's just he just dis- discovered how to blow smoke into a fucking cup. Oh my God. All right, well, don't forget... uh. Bonus number 16 for week 16 is the most points by all your starting wide receivers. Starting wide receivers. There you go. Most points by starting wide receivers. Yes. Most. Not least. The most. The most. So you want to go wide receiver heavy for this week. Don't quote me on that also. But make your flex a wide receiver to win the bonus. Fuck winning your playoff game. Fuck that shit. You need to win the bonus, right? That's where the real money's at. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Exactly. Put, it, put it this way. Exactly. You, you can either win the league or win every bonus and you make the same amount of money, right? Is that how it works? I mean, you could make more money if you want every bonus. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's not that hard. Come on. Yeah. It's not too, too hard. It could be done. It's doable. Too, too out well. Too, too hard. Two? You said too, too? Too, too. Too, too. I wish I was wearing a too, too. Do you have one? Do you own one? I don't. Someone in the house owns. But I think two everybody two in else house. in my own house owns one, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. including Peanut. Do you think Tutu Atwell owns tutus? Mm, not sure. Might. Maybe I feel like I would have a better opinion if I knew who that was. <laughs> first of all. Well, we're first bringing back one. who's that player. <laughs> Fuck, I walked into that shit, Oof. huh? Yeah. I should have just said no. Damn, bro. Tutu Atwell? Yeah. Is a defender. Okay, for what team? A team that is based in Texas. Ooh, you 
were so close. Damn. He is a wide receiver for the Bitch. Rams. <laughs> You know, it's funny, I had seen that name, and as soon as he said, like, defensive receiver, and you said yes, I was like, mm, is he? Yeah. Is for the, he, he plays on the Rams now, right? Yeah. I'm almost, so. yeah. Look at me, but fuck, I don't know. Oh, we know. Oh, we know. Right, I don't know. <laughs> all right, all right. One more. This one's for Braulio. Chiggy Okonkwo. Oh, you, are, you already know I know who that boy is. Titans. T-E. Mm. Okay. Basically, their number one receiver right now. Like, Ooh, a T-E. That stands for something you no longer have. My end is as, as tight as ever. I've been hitting them squats, No, Raleo's is no longer tight after what, oh, uh, after what House did to him in the playoffs. That's fair. That is fair. It was a, it was a tough outing. To say the least. You're still you're still gaping, huh? A little bit. <sighs> it's uh it's it's difficult. I'm not gonna lie. You know, it is difficult. But you know, I'm I'm surviving, you know, one day at a time. So yeah. it's it just sucks when, you know, your star running back just decides to fucking get hurt. Who was your first. star running back? Uh John Taylor. Damn um, J T. How'd you end up getting that? Damn, you ended up with Jonathan Taylor? <laughs> you must have had number one pick. No, I actually had the second pick. Ooh, and so whoever was, had number one pick knew what they were doing. Mm, I guess, but are, were they in the playoffs though? That's that's Ooh, the real question. Nah, I mean, because so. it went all it all went downhill from there. <laughs> yes, that's the well, that's the fact. Really Honestly, it went it was it went downhill before that. I did not. I, I did not want you to actually. Want, I feel I like you made me. a decent climb after that. Oh, I was about to, but yeah, I had to play Casey. Just, I just had to. If I didn't have to play Casey, I would have been in playoffs. Yeah. So and you, you were see my team. There. My team put up like 200 points this week. Last yes. week, of course. But if only, my, if only. I didn't want that. first pick. I literally said that. That's literally yeah. where my, my. I wouldn't either. My not. fall yeah. started from the start of the season. Just having that pick, like every pick from then on, was just horrible. So be- before we get into the matchups, just off the top of your head, real quick, thinking back, if you could redo that pick, who would you have gotten instead of Jonathan Taylor at that moment? Uh, definitely Austin Eckler. Austin Eckler. Hundred okay. percent. That was who you were struggling with in that moment, also, or just on yeah. hindsight? Is it awesome? <laughs> yes, and then the only reason that I changed and I pivoted to JT was because I was talking to our boy, our boy Matt here, and he definitely hinted Good strongly, yeah, <laughs> that I should definitely go JT because it would be crazy if I didn't. Hell was, yeah. was that those are direct quotes? Quote, crazy, those are direct quote, quote, crazy. Yes, it would didn't. be crazy. Hey, that's what he hey. said. Now listen, when you're walking down the street and you see a nice ass booty, that man, that ass is crazy. <laughs> Definitely not the context Dude, that we're what? talking about. Hey, you, you know that's. The- I swear to God, from the beginning of that sentence, I'm like, you, what the fuck is this about to say? <laughs> now listen, what? crazy could mean good or bad. Mm, could I mean, mean yeah, it could okay. mean crazy and a good. You know, it could just be straight up really crazy, or it could just be like dookie crazy. Wait, Exactly. I mean, that's fair. That's fair. Ultimately, yes, it did come down to my decision, and I unfortunately picked JT because I thought, you know, all right, I'm going to gamble it. Maybe he'll go off again. I saw the last few games right. the year before. You know, like, he might have gone off, but just a fucking terrible outing, man. It was tough. And it's one of those players that I think me and Matt were talking about this at some point during the season, too, just randomly talking about how the week was going at that time. But it's like he's one of those players that, you can't bring yourself to bench him no matter like how pedestrian yep. his numbers might have been. So it's one of those players that you have to keep playing. You have to keep starting him. And just damn, damn, damn. It's like you're stuck in a fucking like uh, Groundhog Day loop. Like you're just right. like, fuck, like I, I got to play him. Like you, you can't not. Right. Then, you know, yeah, right. He goes off on your bench and you look like a fucking idiot. Like, yeah. you know? There so. was a couple of weeks that that should have happened. And honestly, if you look, if you really look at it, you know, Austin Eckler is the number two fantasy scorer on yes. the season. Wow. Exactly. In my league. And uh, Jonathan Taylor is not the number one. You know, He's, he's actually – I can't even count how far down he is on oh, the list. He's missed so many just, games. Just to put it in Fuck perspective, Jer- uh, Jarek McKinnon has uh, one more point than JTT. Oof, so. I just burned my cornea. Yeah. So do you know who's number one? Uh, running back? Yeah. In my league. Oh, I mean, I would probably imagine it's like Josh Jacobs. Or some yes, shit, man. exactly. That dude's got so fucking so many fucking bonus points. Yeah. He has he has about sixteen more than than Eckler, and then Eckler has two more than Christian McCaffrey. Damn! Wow, that's crazy. So you know, that could have been you. I know. Well, I mean, like it was fucking JT that brought me down. Fucking Javante Williams. That was an early season. Yeah. Like, fucking tough one. Yeah. That one was. Darren tough. Waller. 
fuck that guy. Yes. <laughs> I've been in like tight end hell this entire season. I feel you. Yeah. What's worse, I traded, uh, what is it, Tyreek away for Ertz, Pierce. Yes, you did. And fucking, who else? <laughs> Ayuk. Yeah. Talk about that was my choice. That was definitely your choice as two well. Of them, two of them <laughs> got straight away. Two yeah. of them got hurt. <laughs> two of them got hurt. Yeah, I mean, I felt like the trade was definitely a hundred percent balanced, but like mm. fucking Ertz immediately out. Yes. Fucking what? What is his other name? Uh, oh my god, I forgot. Sleep I forgot. buddy. Oh Pierce. Well Pierce, he didn't do as great, and then he got injured like last yeah. week. Yeah. So. Like he did give me some numbers, I will give him that. Like that, will, he gave he gave me some value for what I traded, but yeah, yeah. But I mean, at the time, I was also desperate because I just needed fucking bodies on my team. Like yeah. I couldn't just have like fucking Tyreek Hill just like dropping fifty bombs. Like high yeah. school, high school all over again, desperate for bodies. <laughs> huh? Yeah, I fucking I feel your pain on that tight end shit too. I mean, like I was lucky enough to have Mark Andrews in my team in my. In my other league, right? But uh, ever since he had got that, I think it's a shoulder injury that he's dealing yeah, with. He's... Yeah, his numbers have taken a hit for sure. Yeah. But, you know, fingers crossed for a few solid weeks here at the end of the season. Luckily, luckily, I wasn't in I wasn't in as crazy tight end hell as most. I, I had, luckily, the kind of the better of all the bunch. You know? So I had Najoku in one league. I had Ertz in another. And I don't recall the last one. But, you know, it wasn't, I wasn't, I didn't have, you know, uh, like you said, Andrews or Kittle elite, but I had, you know, I had, I had the, it wasn't as crazy, you know, where people that were just scrambling yeah. week in and week yeah. out. Yeah, yeah, it them. definitely felt that way yeah, every this, fucking this week. This week, this year was, remember, like we said, man, this year was, you know, we're gonna we're gonna get all the final numbers for you guys coming here pretty in a couple weeks, and you know, we're gonna let Maybe. you know why this season's been so fucking, fucking nuts. nuts. Hey, I've, I've, I've hey only, crazy season, let's, let's ride. ride. I've only had to hit the waiver wire once, really, for a tight end, and that was when uh, Andrews got hurt, and luckily I just picked up Isaiah Likely, so mm. it was like I, I, I lucked out on that one. Yeah. I didn't have to really pick up anyone else. I did pick up a few other random tight ends, but it was like, likely that was just you, to see if they would have went off or not. Gonna win? Uh, yeah, I think so. I think so. So is it true you postponed coming here on purpose so that we couldn't call house on live on podcast? <laughs> I didn't. I didn't even know that was part of the plan. So uh, no. sure. You <laughs> Who says sure we still can? That's true. That's he died. True. Also, I've never met this that? person before. So <laughs> I know, but you still got smoke, smoke and bone. That's fair. That's fair. And in terms of like getting smoked, um, out of the championship bracket this week this this past week 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 15 you were the largest loss deficit oh yeah of these matchups absolutely but again my team imploded like fucking Ayuk three points mm-hmm. jt two points it yeah. was just fucking disaster everywhere with the with the exception of one mega whooping that we're gonna get to even later in the program as well that happened in the uh loser bracket there oh well, I, we're, I haven't we're, even seen any of those games th- there's we're... a dude we have to talk about it you know what i'm saying <laughs> but that's just like just it's not culturally yeah. relevant it's not yeah. the, the word is consolation uh yeah i don't even that's going too far that's like uh i think that's like being nice for these people uh it's a, it's, a, it's a loser it's bracket just, is it, what it, it is it just reminds people that to, to stay humble and remember how shit they are yes yes yeah. hey man tough shit happens in real life bro this is one of them you suck ass you're in the loser bracket that's what that's what it is and uh yeah so with the exception of one mega loss in that bracket and some people you are were the largest deficit some people are in every loser bracket in every league they're in I wouldn't know. Fighting for last place. That's I wouldn't I imagine. Mean. Yeah. Could never and be and me. We're, we're talking about your guy that's coming up soon in your in your large. Yeah. Episode. Got you. Yeah. Hey, but hey, yeah, that could never be me. So. Oh my God. Yeah, I mean, neither. Like I said, I don't know how to get last place, even in the dynasty league where I should get last. Could never be either of us. Yeah. But hey, really, their name says it all. Yeah. I mean, I did miss. Playoffs they doom themselves with the name. Yeah, I did miss playoffs every year this year, you know. But uh. I don't think we spent not last. Talking about the losers. At least we're not last. Yeah. This motherfucker thinks he's gonna wait, nah, bro. <laughs> All right, we we get to that later. So, yes. uh, All right. so kick us off, Matthew. This is you know simple pimple control we do have over here. Hmm? Uh, this boy over here. Ooh. So, do you remember what you said about 
uh, Emoji King house in the 2020 and shit. Do you remember what you said about all that? What do you mean what I said about all that? About his name and picture. I mean, his name and... and, um, and name what I said it was? Yeah, like what it meant. I don't remember what I said at all. Something about them being like 10 and 4 that year and some shit. Okay. So he, he, he said you were almost there with it, but he was saying uh, they, they were the last wild card team to make the playoffs and win the championship. Mm, okay. So he's saying he came in at wild card and he said he's going. He's going for it. He said he's coming. Yeah. And man, he came in like a fucking like a wrecking ball on this Ooh, bitch. Oh yeah, because he channeled his inner Miley Cyrus. Wrecked buddy over here, bro. Yeah. <laughs> Yeesh. Let's let's get into it. Let's get into it. We don't have any matchups, so we're gonna dive into these. Really, we we I mean, get the chance to dive into them here. It's quite simple when you just look at his first three players and they combine for over eighty points. Now, Braulio, it is you know it is it is puts the icing on the cake when it is. You know, a player acquired from Braulio. Yeah, that know, always went off with the twenty-one points going against the person acquired mm-hmm. from House, scoring mm-hmm. a measly little mm-hmm. three points while the other two did not play. And like, dude, it's like very rare that we have that we're able to like, you know, get someone's reaction like live <laughs> on the podcast here. So, it, dude, I have to ask you these questions here, man. So we went with starting Deshaun Watson here, right? So Deshaun Watson hasn't played a game in like Matthew how many months? Like, oh my god, yeah. this guy, this is so good. I can't believe we have him live on here when we he started Deshaun. Uh, so you started Deshaun Watson, gutsy play, right? Gutsy play. Now we're gonna take a quick look at your bench. Who would be your other quarterbacks? We have Geno Smith, Tua Tungavailoa. <laughs> you have two on your fucking bench, and you yes. started Deshaun Watson, bro. Oh, yeah. What? Okay, so uh, that 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 came out bad. I'm sorry, I didn't mean it that way. But <laughs> <laughs> what was going through your mind when you started Deshaun Watson this week? Tell us. Uh, well, I mean, it's pretty simple. They did have like this huge forecast for like a fucking snowy. Buffalo game, right? Right. I'm watching the shit. I'm looking at the weather reports. Obviously, two is dependent on the passing game. That's fair. Mm-hmm. He didn't have a good week last week. That's fair. So coming in, I'm like, okay, I know those start your start your studs mantra. You know, I get it. But I also did. I also saw that right before he started, fucking Ayuk dropped three Thursday. That's how I started my playoff week. Okay. That was shit. Immediately yeah, after yeah, that, yeah, yeah. on Sunday. Right, right. Fucking JT goes down. Oh, okay. See, this is the, we're we're getting the fucking. This is what was going through this dude's mind when this happened, bro. Wow. So okay, I'm seeing this fucking like crazy shit just going down here. I'm like, all right. So I have these crazy weather conditions coming for Tua. Mm-hmm. It's not gonna be great. I don't think it's gonna be great. Right. So I fucking pick up someone immediately and just do a swap. Mm-hmm. I leave them there. I don't like commit to the decision at first. I'm like, ah, I don't know. Also, uh, Watson is playing a four o'clock game, right? So right. you got to think like, right, okay, right. I got some time. Who I'm is let who is Deshaun over. watching? Who is Deshaun Watson playing for all the fans out there? Oh, he was playing the fucking Ravens. Oh, Baltimore. Oh, yes. okay. And uh, do you happen to be a fan of any NFL teams? Yeah. Oh, we, we, oh, who? Baltimore. Yeah. Oh, well, you okay, also have okay. to think Continue. Ravens aren't coming in with the hottest fucking like you know they're coming in with a backup QB. They have been doing great. They have no fucking passing game at all. Like, they just have the running game and, like, their defense. So, you know, there are a lot of things going against this decision. I'm like, all right, maybe Watson is finally, like, he's connecting with his receivers. He's going to hit fucking Amari Cooper with, like, a 40-yard bomb. You know? Maybe this is where they start taking deep shots. But right. Up until that decision, I was like, deep okay, shots well, right, 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 right. Okay, so, okay. First of all, thank you for explaining that. I understand where you're coming from. Okay, you said that, uh, uh, who was it, Brent, Brendan Ayuk put up a stinger for you to s- start off the week, et cetera, et cetera. Yeah. We understand where you're coming from. But you just, so what you just said, right, what you, I just want to clarify, what you just said was you didn't start Tua because he's, quote, dependent on the passing game. But your rationale for starting Deshaun Watson was maybe he'll throw a 40-yard bomb to Amari Cooper. Yeah. All right. To his worst games, right. he's throwing seventy-five yard bombs to anybody. That's fair. Yeah, he does. You, yeah. So, and just like off the top of my head, Facts. like yeah, because like what isn't like wouldn't Tua just need to throw a ten-yard slant to Tyreek? He's off to the races, and he doesn't have to throw that shit like eighty yards. Remember the the game that we got schlop slap. <laughs> The game we got slumped. Schlumped. We got fucking uh. I'm right now. Remember we started. Why. We started the game with the seventy-five yard bomb. 
Oh, there was a 75-yard right. touchdown. Mm-hmm. Right. So, yeah. and then, we, you know, went on to get schlumped. But, right. uh, <coughs> but yeah. But, so, okay, but. So. Tua, you know, Tua, he, he's, he told you, bro, it, it, it snowed in Alabama, motherfucker. Yeah. That's yeah. Might not That's have been fair. the same, but, hey, True. he, he, there are mountains he said in he was, he told you he was ready. Listen, I again, know. I would have never have benched Tua, mother. For sure, bro. Fuckers. Hey. hey, you can't. Also, to be fair, if you look at the comparison for like all the players after the after the fact, I, there's no way I would have won that game. Like even if I put all that's, of my that's, best players, that's not the point. But I did do it. May it or may not be it the was point. a bad decision. I will give you that. Yes. So it's just, it's just question. All I'm saying is it's it's questionable. That's it hundred percent is. I yeah. I get it. You took a chance for sure, but man, yes, this dude. This is this is what move. his second game back, his third game back. Deshaun Watson. I think it's third one. Third, yeah. yeah. And it's against your team, that your favorite. Come on, bro. I know. But okay, but so so you've already went over the Brandon Ayuk. We see that comparison there, and just for you know, are you actually sure that that's not true? And no matter what you did, you would have won. I'm pretty sure. Oh, mm-hmm. I'm sure. I didn't. I didn't really look too much, but and but so, what you but what you fail well, yeah. what you fail to realize is. Though your fantasy team as a real team would have rallied around your other players that were doing good. Your team's not going to rally around fucking Deshaun Watson, bro. <laughs> Again, yeah, yeah. Yeah. It's probably, uh, you sure. know, you know, you know who they rallied around? Fucking Tua. Tua. The guy who got snubbed out of Pro Bowls. And just so the listeners have, uh, you know, have something to compare it to here. Uh, so we have Des- Deshaun Watson and Brandon Ayuk, who we just discussed. 14 points and 3 points, respectively. As you just said, Raleigh also to go up against on House's side, Joe Burrow putting up thirty points and Justin Jefferson, both of them putting up a thirty burger, thirty three points. Like, come on, yeah, that already sets the tone for this week too. Like that yeah. shit. It was a mountain to climb from yeah. the beginning. Yeah, like, there's no uh, way. Joe, Joe, you had a good Joe game Burrow from Devontae the Smith. End. Joe Burrow was the end. So yeah, it, it started off. Answer, it started yeah, off yeah. looking rough. Then it then the gap got closed mm-hmm. because uh, you know half of Joe Burrow's yeah. gaps yeah. do get closed. Then this guy just fucking snap, crackle, and pop. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I did, I did see that. That fucking Burrow. He had like two points by the half. That's like the fourth yeah. time this year he's had that happen. That's wild. Yeah. yeah. And then just fucking went crazy. Yeah. He had four touchdowns and two hundred yards exactly. Yep. But uh, okay, so you had a decent game from Devonte Smith. Very good game from him. He had over a hundred yards and a touchdown. You know what I mean? Uh, actually, never mind. Not a touchdown, but he had over a hundred yards. But then, boom! You get Michael Michael Gallup with a one point right there, and I, I'm not going like in chronological order. I'm just reading down the uh, yeah. box how score many points, right here. How many points did his beast man Devin Duvernay get for him? Oh, Devin Duvernay that was not oh, even on his a while ago. Team. Oh, okay, Fuck that guy. okay, oh, okay. <laughs> right. All right, I have some quotes about like, oh, oh yeah. talking shit about me starting. <laughs> I forgot we can get all up into that shit. Segments of. Hey, y'all shouldn't have let me in. Y'all fucked up letting me in y'all this league. Hey, I did make the playoffs first fucking Not year. Not for sure. Hey, hey, hey you got to give me that. Rookies always make he the went playoffs. went seven and seven on the year. Seven and seven on the year is not bad. I guess it's good enough to make the playoffs in this league, you know? Yes. yes. Unfortunately, yeah. Hey. Unfortunately, yeah. it no, is. No, fortunately, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Very year. fortunately for you. It was a rough year for most, you know. Actually, no, my league is always insane, bro. Do you, believe it or not, there's usually never a clear winner, like a, a clear number one like me. Oh, really? Like, this is – so last year was even closer than it was this year. But this bro, my league gets so close sometimes it's awesome. Well, it's because of all the fucking bonus points you have built into the shit, dog. Like, <laughs> yeah, yeah, boy. It's not that many. It's normal bonuses. Hey, but bro, you know that incentivizes listen, people to come out with their buddy, best team, best my, squad. My buddy, week. my buddy plays in a league for way more money, and his bonuses are. Who is way your buddy? Crazier. Dox him right now. I'm not gonna dox him, my fucking. Tell us who it is. What? He's the goat. That's <laughs> it. But uh, bro, he he plays in a league for like two hundred and fifty dollars. It might be more now, and then you pay five dollars hey. every time you pick somebody up. What? Uh, yes. Yeah. Oh my god. Nah. And bro, their bonuses are like so. Like if it's a so if it's like a thirty nine yard touchdown yeah it'll be like a so it'll be the you know say 39 rushing yard touchdown you'll get three the the 3.9 points for the the rushing yards right you'll get the six points for the touchdown right then you get a bonus for it being a long touchdown then you get the mm-hmm. bonus you get 3.9 bonus for it being a 39 yard touchdown what yes 
you get it's crazy like well, however long the touchdown is you get that many points as the bonus if it's over like i think if it's over 10 or 20 yards i mean that sounds pretty cool it's like cool, high but scoring you should have games, one or the bro, other that's crazy yeah. that's like that's too many high yeah. scoring but they're not game. that that high because i'm about to do like the opposite they don't, have, stu- they don't have defensive players so they're right. still scoring around the same as like not not right. even that much i have an idea for a league that's opposite i have an idea for a league that like everything's like fraction of a point so the final score is like two to one or some shit like some <laughs> soccer shit you got to fucking yeah. record it in decimal points yeah. like <laughs> like you get like it's the opposite like you get penalized for positive yardage <laughs> like but if, if whoever sucked you get like positive points oh my so God. your squad is just made up of slap just dudes slump ass dudes slump dicks <laughs> just Devin Duvernay's everywhere <laughs> oh my god fucking shit man yeah bro tough hey you win some, you lose some. Mm-hmm. I be starting Matt Ryan Yo, every week, baby. I've always wanted to do this quote, the fucking... Shout out you... Matt Ryan, dog. <laughs> Shout out Matt Ryan, my bad. Go ahead. Ryan. Hey, hey, that word? <laughs> Matt Ryan? Uh... That, hey, man, that that's an MVP, that, bro. That's an Show MVP. some respect. That's an MVP. He mm-hmm. was an MVP. Former MVP, bro. What? Former you know, MVP. He's hey. remembered for his yeah. losing the cra- craziest like comebacks. Dude, hey, I'm from Boston. I'm a Patriots fan. I got shit. I don't got no hate for Matt Ryan. Thank right. you, buddy. Like, I <laughs> like, shout out Matt Ryan, dog, for real. Nah, I mean, he's pretty bad. He's Went pretty bad, but I love too, I, I, I He's him. pretty bad, but I, I got respect for him after all the that's shit fair. he's been through. Hey, I, yeah, man, that's an MVP. I got to show respect to MVP. I guess I meant specifically this year. Like, yeah, fuck Matt this Ryan. This year, Matt sure. Ryan. Fuck Matt Ryan this year, yeah. For sure. Like I said, I'm starting him in that league if I ever make that. It's him or Zach Wilson. One of them. Cool. All right, I feel you there. And so we're getting on to our next playoff matchup. Oh wait, hold on, 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 hold on. Ho, 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 buddy, <laughs> buddy, you thought we were letting this dude off this easy? Listen, listen here. You lost by sixty to a guy who had a dude that had point nine points on his team. That is correct. Yeah. <laughs> Who had point nine points? This dude oh, right that here. Would be, that would be Haas's boy, Deonta Foreman. Deontay beast man. Foreman only had zero point nine points, and this dude still fleeced you by sixty. Man, come on. Green Bay defense with seventeen points. That's nuts. But you got seventeen points from your uh, linebacker. That's right. I mean, my IDP game is strong. You know? IDP game is strong. So. Your tight end game is strong, like you said. But yeah, man, just not enough. It not really enough. Yeah. The bathroom's right there, by the way. Oh, I thought you said you had to pee. Oh, no, I said IDP. IDP. Oh, where are you peeing? IDP? Oh, I, I already peed, yeah, I oh, peed. Oh, you double penetrate. <laughs> we know you double penetrate. IDP. Oh, my God. <laughs> guy. Oh, God. All right. Yeah, I just wanted to point that out. You know what I'm saying? Of course, of course. And you're lucky Buddy Man didn't start Dawson Knox. Did you give that your AKs, much by the worse. way? Did you give your AKs in the beginning? AKA no, shitting so. the bed and AKA shitting my pants? No, I didn't. All right, all right. <laughs> I didn't know that was one. I got a fucking shout out Sean for uh, AKA the last Bronco. I fucking love that shit. Hey. <laughs> you got to check the comments for that one. So. All right, we got to go into the comments. Damn, I actually don't know what that is. Also. Yeah, Either. check the comments. That was a good one. Comments where? On the league. In the league. Oh, you mean the, oh, uh, the actual league? The chat? Yeah. League chat? The league yeah. chat. I don't know. Can we pull that up here on the computer, Matthew? Or do you have yeah, to look I'm at it on your phone? Where it is. The last Bronco. <laughs> the last ride. <laughs> I took a screenshot of the show. There it is. There it is. Yeah, we're just looking at oh, that real quick. He sent <laughs> oh, pic- this somebody dude. sent a picture of you. <laughs> that one, that's when he predicted that I would make it all the way. Fucking love that dude. <laughs> we 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 may or may not show you a picture right here, folks. <laughs> for if you're watching us, we may or may not show you a photo. <laughs> yeah, straight from Alaska, baby. That's the last dude, Bronco. That, you the look, last bucking Bronco. You look like one of the random uh, bodyguards that get eaten first in like a Jurassic Park movie, <laughs> like right there. The ones that are like strapped, so you think they're gonna do <laughs> good. That are like looking like... around with like goggles and shit, and then they just get snatched up from behind yeah. or something. Like yeah, no, for sure, <laughs> for sure. <laughs> you look like one of the terrorists from Die Hard, the first one. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Too bad we didn't remember their names. Oof. Yeah. 
Yeah. Oh god, Hans! Just I think two of them were named Hans. Fucking... Two of them were named Hans. I'm pretty sure. Probably more, more than likely. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Shout out my diehard. Yeah. So we're gonna move on to the the other matchup in the championship bracket, the other semifinal. Never mind, not semifinal, quarterfinal. And that was Pink Venom, who was in fourth place at eight and six, versus Amer- America's Ass Three Hundred and Sixty. <laughs> was this the name last week as well? I forget what it was last week. America's Ass. That's America's Ass Three Hundred and Sixty. And um, uh, yeah. Also, it was it wasn't as bad as our first matchup deficit, but a forty point deficit here, almost fifty point deficit, forty eight points. And um, man, all I gotta say is Pat Mahomes took him home. But so did Saquon Barkley and Aaron Jones. Yeah, that is true. It Dak Prescott on. put up a good fight. Some very solid receiver and running back points here from Michael. Uh, you can't really fault him on that. Double-digit points all around. But, man, did not come up close. Saquon Barkley put up 20. Aaron Jones put up 20. Patrick Mahomes put up 40 almost. I mean, oof. And he got 16 from a defense. Like, ah, oh, you can't beat that, man. Yeah, it is a shame because, like, Watson, I was really expecting for him to get a touchdown at the very last minute to at least, like, keep his hopes alive. But right. It just didn't didn't end up that way. It was tough, Yeah. Man. Tough, uh, tough, tough tight end work. And, uh, yeah, tough. No, no help from the kicker either. I mean, come on. And this was just a rough outing for the for, for Recipe Michael. Recipe for disaster, bro. I and guess check that's in. what happens when you start talking too much shit, boy. Also, I want to say a questionable decision to start Prescott over Fields. Like, what's that about? Yeah, that was kind of questionable. It only beat enough, ended up being a three-point difference there. But, uh, yeah, you are right. Justin Fields seems to be on a tear right now. Yeah. At least on the ground. At least on the ground. Well, remember, Michael got called out on his bullshit, and he found out that he was just relying on sheer luck. Back on his bullshit. Uh, When when, when I thought he was playing Justin Fields strategically, he just simply forgot to put him back in after (laughs) Dak's bye week. That's probably something you don't admit. But um, he admitted it to me like an idiot, and yeah. Oof. Well, there, there we go. <laughs> that was his there mistake. We go. Yeah. Dummy. And you were telling me why I got off that that bandwagon team? Okay, that bad that, that team's bandwagon, rather. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. See why right there. Yeah. So you know, I, I think he just simply put too much thought into this week, and that's what happened. When he just he should have just relied on his luck, like I told him. That's true. That's true. It's funny yeah. though because I I am in another league that uh, obviously like people from Houston from Texas. All the parts, and there's a good amount of Cowboys fans, mm-hmm. and just the fucking shellacking they got when the they started going down because yeah. they were talking, talking that good shit. For like real. it's our it's our fucking year, guys. Yeah. Fucking Cowboys, like that's going they all the way. The fuck off. <laughs> Bro, if, you fuck can't, off. if you can't succeed in the NFC, you're never going to succeed. Honestly. To be fair, you can kind of see where they're coming to because this is a franchise that they're like, all right, we just. We just paid our quarterback. You know what I'm saying? Like, boom, we're optimistic about the future. Let's yeah. fucking go, baby. I know. I totally get it. I have fucking Pollard. I was rooting for the Cowboys. Yeah. I was like, yo, like, they're fucking getting it. But just yeah, the last few weeks was really, like, <laughs> people get a gone. Little, people get a little too, yeah, yeah. Uh, overconfident. Who'd there. they just lose to, Quam? <sighs> By don't the way, Quam. who'd they just lose Poor to? Guy. I don't know. They did, No, the Cowboys just lost to somebody, the Jaguars. Yeah, hey, Quam, how's that feel? Fucking T-Law. Yeah. All in that bitch. <laughs> Trevor. Yeah, tough. Shout out to Jirogi. He's always talking about that boy. Shout out. T-Law. He T-Law. wonders where he's going to be drafted next season. Like, come, come fantasy drafts. For the Lambo Calrissians. But like what, like what round? Like would you? Number no, one I would overall. fucking draft that fucking guy. Oh, okay. I already know my quarterback next year, baby, and that's Tua Tagovailoa. At all costs. At all. Nah, costs. Not all costs. I'll take him where I normally take a quarterback. I just want to say that's definitely seventh, like a eighth round. That's definitely like a draft strategy. Just draft a bunch of like Dolphins players that Matt wants. So yeah. That way you can just. Draft that's always. Them. If I'm in a league with Matt, that's always. <laughs> I feel like I found like the secret, so I'm kind of like yeah. hoping that I can do that again. Just yeah. like, yo, I got this fucking quarterback. You want only who? when they're only when they're literally the. Fucking top five for that position. That's fair. Yeah. 
What's that, man? Nah, we'll you would trade for anybody. <laughs> no, hell no. You would, yeah. Well, yeah, maybe. You would, you would get Mike. I Kisiki. would get denied. Say, there's let's, that maybe. No, there's no, 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 no. Sorry, not. No, no. It was, it was me attempting to make a trade with somebody who I knew damn well wasn't going to trade just to prove a point. Don't lie. You would trade for so Raheem Mostert right now. Don't lie, man. That, no, that's the one. Remember, yeah, I tried. Exactly. Right, the, there, you remember, go. Casey, See, there you go, bro. Casey, there we listen. Go. Listen, Casey could have had <laughs> Casey could have had. Remember, we uh-huh. all know this. Casey could have had Raheem Mostert know, exactly. for Christian McCaffrey. Okay, mm. okay, okay. Yeah. yeah, and he that's said fair. no. That that's crazy. Yeah, yes. remember that? Absolutely. Yeah, and yeah, why? Wow. Raheem Mostert was on fucking. Like, did you send so, yeah, that like trade? I said, like, uh, it, he had an Raheem accept button right now. That. If you could, I don't know if I physically ended up sending it, but I was like, we were messaging back and forth. Oh, and like, it and was it, a, what it was was I said because I said, oh, I'll give you two a. For, I think I might have told you about it, but I was like, oh, I'll give you, or I think I didn't go into detail with you, but I was like, oh, I'll give you, uh, I'll give you, who did I have? CMC? No, yeah, Christian McCaffrey. I was like, I'll give you Christian McCaffrey for Tua, Raheem Mostert, and, and then I was like, before I even looked at his team, I said, oh, and your tight end. And then before I, before I can go look at his team and see his tight end, he writes back and says, that's too many players. And I was like, what are you talking about? And then I, I went back and I said, I was like, oh, about? shit, your tight end's Mike Gusecki. Oh, shit. So I was like, there's no way the league would let me do that So trade. I literally just said you would trade for Mike Gusecki right now. Like, no, but that's that, 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 right listen, So you literally were going to no, trade for... No, 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 no. You were literally going to trade for Mike Gusecki. I'm telling you. I'm trying. Listen, I'm trying. Let me finish. I didn't even know that shit, bro. I swear to God. Let me finish. <laughs> Let so, him finish. <laughs> I was doing all of this to prove how dumb Casey is and how he doesn't know how to trade. Because mm-hmm. tell me, like that, he you should have hit accept oh, a million it. percent on that trade. Yeah. And he <laughs> said first he said he said it was too many when I said Mike Gusecki. So and then I said oh what else? So I was like oh okay so what about just Tua and Raheem Mostert? He still said no. Then I said oh two God, of cuz then I said two over Raheem Mostert and Sammy Watkins and he said Sammy Watkins is a deal breaker. They just cut him. Yeah. What? <laughs> yeah, bro. That's the mind. They just of cut Casey. him, bro. You know, that's fine. Then you CMC know. dropped fucking 50 points and he proceeded to try to trade me for him then. I said, Listen, "Bro, you come you came way too late." Dude. There's always two sides of a story, so we I feel like we need to hear Casey's side on this. Cause we're just here, bro. Right it's now. in. You need to call him up right now, bro. It's right in. now, just do it on the phone right now. Nah, no, it's way too late for Casey. Casey's in bed by ten. I can show you the messages, bro. Nah, that's okay. they exist. Where was it? It was probably. Were we Were we on Yahoo or were we texting? We but I'm not talking about like, like the messages. I want to hear like the thinking, the like the nobody, breakdown. Nobody can get behind the breakdown of fucking Casey, bro. <laughs> nobody. Like it. It's been tried. It's been. It's like trying to get into the mind of a woman in a whole different aspect. Hmm. Casey. I think it's right here. <coughs> yeah, right here. Uh, yeah, first he went off saying that C-Mac, there was too many mouths to feed on San Francisco. So he was going to have to, and then, uh, oh, and then he was huh. trying to do Tua for C-Mac straight up. Straight up. Yes, and I'm like, bro, that's fucking absurd. Like, you're stupid. Meanwhile, if you recall, you got everybody out there, just for you guys out there listening, not watching, or and watching, uh, his quarterback, his starting quarterback is Jalen Hurts. Mind you, I don't know if there was text messages or if this was me and him talking, but I asked him for Tua after week two. Oh, and this wow. guy, yeah, this guy was like, okay. oh, but I want, what if I want to keep Tua and trade Jalen? Then I said, so what do you want for Jalen? Literally, we went back and forth. And then, then like, to nothing, because I just assumed he wasn't going to trade to do anything. Yeah, yeah it's, it's uh, hard to defend, honestly. So. Yeah, and then, like I said, all these messages here, bro, this guy was like, because I think that's what it was. Oh, because you had told me about the trade. Yeah. And that's where you fucked up. You were telling me about the trade you were about to do with Casey, and I was like, Hold the fucking phone. What are you talking about? You're doing a trade. Not a, nah. I was like, no. I think nah. I even said that to you. I was like, no, you're not. Yeah. So that's and not you're like, real. oh, yes, I am. And he's like, oh, yeah. <laughs> Hell yeah, look, baby. Casey said not three for yeah. one. Oh, my God. Suck and he's like, I can't trade for one. I mean, at that point, you just drop people. Like, 
You drop your lowest people. That's yeah. And then that's when he tried to go on. That's when he went on to like, oh, there's too many mouths to feed. Blah blah. Uh, blah. Okay. He's not gonna do the same. Blah. I blah, mean, blah. it was fair at the time. Like you know. Hell no. For CMC. He's they on had a, fucking uh, what's his name? It doesn't matter. They went out and acquired him for a reason. Like mm-hmm. they're gonna fucking utilize him. But I'm I'm saying they're also not gonna ride him to the ground either. There, right? Are they though? There's no such. Thing. They're gonna. They might try, but. And CMC doesn't need much. Remember that guy broke fucking ten points off like four carries. All right, so we're not we're not gonna spend much time. Yeah, I mean we're gonna spend a little bit of time on the loser bracket. But the only thing we're gonna cover in the loser bracket, the only thing worth covering, is gonna be. Yeah, I mean it was simple. Uh, Yolo Dolo put. Uh, or no, actually this was a good one by Sean. Shout out to that boy Sean. He rightfully took. He was like, oh, of course my team's gonna ball out now. So he rightfully took his play, his spot. At, you know, fighting for last place. And uh, left his quarterback in and didn't start one. So and came up against Bootyberg and Jesus. yeah, like we said, uh, I think it was it the end from the beginning when you name your team Bootyberg. It was in the name <sighs> from the very start, and it's one of those things like you ever seen that meme with the two astronauts and one is like, wait, you mean they were booty all along? And it's like, yeah, I always were like type shit. Like, yeah, bro. Booty Bird coming up, Booty, uh, losing by almost ninety in this matchup. Uh, that's fucking crazy. And yeah, on the uh, last game of the season for you, I guess. Um, that's tough. And... <laughs> is there a crying crying? This shit's sad, boy. This shit is. <laughs> Zero points for the tight end. Damn. Although, you look, Jalen Waddle showed the fuck out. New England defense went off. Kicker went crazy. But that's yeah. it, pretty much. Yeah, bro. And, yeah, you got shellacked, bro. I mean, that's just proving how ba- how booty you are. You know, you tried to come out and talk shit. Like I said it before, this guy is literally in the last place game in every league. This is week. that a fact? Yeah. I already checked it. Oof. Yeah. Well, I guess I guess Chris's isn't finalized. So if he loses this week, then he would because the next week would be the last place game. Got you. I believe. Oh, can I just point out real quick? Yes. Fucking, what is it? Kirk Cousins dropping fifty on his bench. That is crazy as fuck. <laughs> he just. I was like, no fucking way. Yeah. Whoa. That's uh. You like that? That's a tough one, man. Yeah. That's a tough one. It feels like this could have been a winnable game. That would be in that 33-point comeback. Nah, he lost by 90. He still would have got his ass whooped. Oh, that's fair. All right. (laughs) That's fair. That's how crazy. He could have started him with 50, and it it would still be greater than your deficit. (laughs) And his quarterback only had nine. (laughs) Oof. That's nuts. Damn. That's crazy. That is wild. Hey, well, yeah, we try. Like I said, Chuck, better luck next year, boy. You looking like John out here, boy? Doo doo as fuck. Looking like John and the Packers. Speaking of, John tried to pull a fast one on me when bought tickets to the game without me. So we're, you know, we're we're petitioning to send Matt to the Dolphins game this weekend. This weekend? Yeah. So. Uh, you guys want to, you know, all you out there listening? We're going to start a GoFundMe. Donate to Matt going to the, the Dolphins yes. game this weekend. Yes. We Fuck want John. Uh, lower bowl seats if possible. Yeah, no, no, believe it or not, I mean, tickets are kind of pricey, but you pay a couple dollars extra, you can do sit lower section. Like, the cheapest That's tickets. usually how it works. The yeah. cheapest tickets were 140 but then to sit lower level, it was only 200 That's that. Yeah, that's not bad, actually. 60 bucks. Yeah, they, they, the little fucker went and, you know, tried to sneak in there without me, so. I do remember you saying you couldn't go to the game, though. Me? When, with, with them, yeah. No, I said to them, like, no, nah, they they yeah. were saying something about they couldn't go, and then I, because I told them, I told Terry from the start, like, even if I have to go without you, I need to go to this fucking game if John goes. 
I mm. I was very adamant about that because I just have like a little like a that, you got that FOMO that one little feet not even a FOMO just mm. of like him rubbing it into it. God forbid if we lose him he would never let me live it down you know like oh if you would have went to the game mur, mur, mur. that's why so I literally always said I could not go to the game like if he goes I have to try to find a way to go yeah so we're seeing what we could do hopefully we find a way. Where there's a will, there's a way. You can just, you can try to sneak in. Always. Just put on a construction vest. That's all you gotta do, really. Just, You're actually just right. I up. could, I could do that. <laughs> like, wear a hard hat. That's really all you, you need. You could. I swear, you can. You can. I do not advocate. I do not advise anyone to do this. Yeah, actually, uh, allegedly, you can sneak in Except anywhere. Yeah, uh, there's that. There's that language. Allegedly. You gotta operate in that gray yeah. area, you know. Yeah, uh, yeah. As long as you say allegedly, you're good to go. As long as you say, if I would do this, I, if I were to do this. Yeah, like allegedly, Braulio started Deshaun Watson Hashtag because he I also loves <laughs> massage parlors. A lot, allegedly. 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 I said allegedly. I almost got a massage today. I went to the mall and I walked by. There's a massage, uh, like the people place in the mall. No, no, no. It was like oh. an actual like a uh, store, like a not store, but like a. But location. it's people giving massages. Uh, yeah. It is human beings giving yes, massages. Yes. yes. Not the massage chairs. Anymore. No, it is okay. not the just massage. making chairs. Sure. It, it was. Wait, was it was it one in the middle? It was carbon based life forms. Was it one in the massages. middle? <laughs> no, it was this actual like store. Oh, okay. Like, thing, like location. Yeah. This fucking guy. I mean, I've literally seen it everything all. I said. I said. <laughs> People give him massage. <laughs> he had to break it down biologically. <laughs> He's about to drop the Latin name too. Just, <laughs> dude. Oh my god. And while he's away, we got our new It was sponsor. Homo sapiens coming. Yeah. Beats Homo by Braulio. <laughs> no, it's a new. It's a new lubrication. <laughs> it's a massage oil that tastes good. Oh, what's it taste like? Yeah, what's the flavor? Whatever flavor he has, three different flavors. I'm so curious to know which one. Give me one of the Oh, three. it's simple. Cherry, Cocoa Pebbles, and his all-time favorite, Booty Hole. Okay. Okay. Yep. I've heard all. That last one probably tastes like pennies, huh? Like, shit tastes like zinc. <laughs> <laughs> it's the real acidicness that gets you, you know? The acidity. Yeah. That's fucking... <laughs> That's asbestos. What the fuck kind of booty you eating, boy? Uh, I don't know. Oh, no, hey, I'm just for those of you listening, <laughs> for those of you listening only, please, please come at us in the comments. Like, what, 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 is, what do you think booty tastes like? <laughs> I fucking said zinc. <laughs> he said zinc and, and penny. I know. <laughs> this guy's on a oh, roll, and we ain't God. talking to T. I'm on someone for real. All right, guys. What are you looking at? I was seeing all the other buttons I'd never pushed before. Mm. Do we want to take a risk and press one or no? Nah, because then it might fuck it up. True. <laughs> true. Very true. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, hey, Chuck, why'd you get so slumped? <laughs> <laughs> Bro, do you remember when we used to film two a league cast and a podcast? Mm-hmm. What were some of the things we did on the podcast? Oh, man. Uh, the two-minute warning. The two-minute warning was a good one. We might have to end that it with that one. one if we could think of one. Yeah. Well, so we did the fucking, like, difference or, like, what what was this, this, and this. Oh, yeah, the, like, not tongue twisters, but, like, yeah, the little, like, uh. Riddles, I guess. Not not even riddles, but I do remember that. Lolo's Spanish word of the day. That was Lolo's Spanish word of the week. Spanish word of the week. Wow. All right, all right. Do you think we could wing any of these shits? I'll tell you right now that the Lolo's Spanish word of the week is messy. (laughs) Oh, 
Bro, do you remember? Do you you know that's my favorite soccer player, right? <laughs> it's those ears. Uh, that's your favorite soccer player? You knew that nice. though. When we used to play soccer back in the day, every time I get would, the ball, I'd be like, I'm getting messy with it. I'm boy. getting messy with it, baby. And I would just fucking get messy with it. And you would actually get, they would get like messy. You would get mud on you and shit. Uh, sometimes, because I would get wild. Yeah, like, you would God, try to slide tackle. Okay, slide, yeah. Nah, not tackle. Like fucking savage. I never, I would never ever do go for defense because I didn't know Villainous. what the rules were. I definitely was like backed off, but I was, I would try to tackle people and shit. Nah, not really. I just would try to get the ball and this is real outrun, football. outrun everybody. That was my problem in basketball. When I would try to play basketball, that's when I would like. It's like, bro, if, if I stand there and you try to run through me and you get bodied, why is that a foul on me? That was the dumbest shit in the right. world. I used to hate that shit. You, you, you got to let them body you. I didn't know. Yeah. But like, we're, nobody's calling a fucking charge. You got to catch a body. Nobody's calling a charge and pick up basketball unless, except for Quentin. He's got to take it. Yeah, if you call a charge at a pickup game, get the fuck out of here, bro. You need to go play in the NBA, dog. You're probably too too good for that court you're playing on, dog, if you call that shit at a pickup game. Or you're just Quinn. I don't know who that is, but... You know Quarful the Great? What? Quarful, Cuba Goo, number one Falcons fan. Oh, gotcha. But what the fuck was that first one he said? Quarful the Great. What is, I don't know what that is. So that was back when he so when he when he got sucked up by the aliens and he went back in time, he was a Roman emperor named Quarful the Great. Mm. Yeah, I think I read about that. Yeah, he ruled. He he. That sounds like a historical figure. Yeah. He yeah, for ruled. Sure. He ruled with Marth. Right, 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 right. Under his wing. He probably did some shit. Conquered some nation or something. Yeah, you know, rape, pillage, pillage, rape. I didn't say all that, but maybe, you know, that's what, what happened does. around then. That's what a quarrel does. Allegedly. Yeah, we gotta be about that R word right there. What did I say? <laughs> Bro, rape? <laughs> For real, you can't say that anymore? I don't know. Uh, <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Please don't cancel me. Do I have to cut that out? <laughs> Uh, I don't think it's as bad as the other R word. Maybe it is. I don't know. Oh, huh. we've said that one on this podcast before. Then never. Uh, yeah, we have never said that on this podcast before. Fucking That's what I meant lunatic. to say. Dick. You know they're like transcripts now on, on YouTube, right? Like, what do you mean transcripts? Like you can literally turn it on and see word for word. <laughs> that shit doesn't. That shit's not accurate. Mm, that was pretty accurate. Uh, <laughs> what do you mean of what we say? Yeah. Oh, so you watch it? Yeah. What do we say? No, I'm just saying, like, when you can turn it on, so, oh. like, if you just want to read it, yeah. Okay, it's okay. like a feature like that. So, but, so you read us? We're, we're Gucci, right? Yeah. We're not getting canceled? <laughs> I mean, I wouldn't say all that, but yeah, sure. Raleo, you better, you're, listen, one of your, you invented the first non-binary Pokemon. You better know all this shit about the internet. So we're, we're not getting canceled for anything you've seen, right? Again, I gotta run through the videos again. I can't give you a clear Oh, this here. fucking guy, bro. Why'd we even get him on here, man? Get this guy the fuck out of here. You can't. Okay. You can't. This isn't legally binding advice. You like, can't endorse that. Bro, everything we do on here is legally binding Can you notarize advice. that at all or not? <laughs> Absolutely not. No. I got the notary stamp in my back pocket. Oh, my God. That is probably illegal right there. That's probably the most probably. illegal thing you've said on this podcast. <laughs> I mean, I'm not a notary. If it was, I wish I was. That's exactly why. <laughs> I, don't even exactly have, I don't have pockets, <laughs> so jokes on them. Oh so that's just God. in your ass, you're saying. You gonna come find out? <laughs> Stamp me. Notar- notarize this. <laughs> Get my dick notarized. Return the sender. Bro, throw this. Oh damn. Get that shit out my fucking face. Is shit off the rails? Nah. Just delete the past like 20 minutes. You'll be fine. Uh-huh. Alright, so what is the difference between... What about you, brother? Do you have any... Uh, have you... You've seen the segments on here when we had like... Uh, what's the difference between like a burglary, a robbery, and like... Oh, yeah. Salt or some shit. Yeah. 
et cetera, et cetera. We had one that was like some other shit. What's the difference between dicing and mincing? One's finer than the other. Which one? Mincing. Correct. Yep. Correct. Mincing's almost as small as you can get with a knife, I think. Yeah. Mince some garlic up. Hell yeah. Mince meat. Uh, sometimes. If you're making a pie. Yeah. Or burgers or something. Chili. I don't know. What's the difference between a moment, a second, and... A little bit, or a bit, bit, just a bit. Like if someone says, hey, give me a bit, or hey, give me a moment, bro, one moment. Damn, I was thinking about it the other way. I was thinking, like, a moment has no time. It's just an event that happens. A second is a second, and then a bit is probably, like, a couple minutes. What about, like, like all right, But if you mean, like, give me a moment, yeah, that's on. another thing. Talk to me. How you, how you been, bro? Hey, what's up, dog? Matt. Hey, give me a moment, please. Give me a moment, please. All right, so, bro, how you been? So, what would that be? Exactly. So, I'm not counting down. Okay, 10 seconds. It's like whenever you're finished with your event. So, it's no, like, actual like time, yeah. if that makes any sense. That's, yeah, that's how I was looking at it. All right. Like, it's, like, at that point, it's it's not like I'm going, oh, okay, I'll ask him again in 10 seconds or something. It's All like, right. no, but then what talking, about? Ask you. Well, I mean, you could say the same for give me a sec. Like, oh, like, hey, give me a sec. Yeah. It could fall under the same, like... Nah, I'd be like, one. I do that, too. <laughs> like I, do, I do that, too. I do that, too. I'm just there, just... I do that, too. So what about, like, what about, like, uh... What about, like, this, like... Yo, we just had a moment. Yeah. Moment in time. I mean, a like... A moment in, like this. In that context, it's just, like, a captured experience. Oh, so that would just be taken out of a different context. Yeah, like it's okay. a it's a different it's not typical like a, yeah. American ass shit. Yeah. So what? So time stops when I look in your eyes anyway. So normal. That's yeah. normal. For those, you, for those of you listening only, I just stopped time. For those of you that can't see uh, or aren't watching right now, he has beautiful eyes. I can't even. Yeah. For those of you who are colorblind, he my has eyes beautiful are blue. Eyes. Yeah. Yes. I can stare at them all day. Combination of blue and red is amazing. <laughs> I like what you did there. But uh, so what are we going with? A bit? A little bit? A moment? Yeah. What are we saying? Yeah. So obviously a second is just like, you know, like the, the, the short is like quick. Yeah, actually, I don't know. Was, was, that, was what I said, was all this stupid? No, I mean, no. My fucking psychopath? A little bit. Hi, man. We'll call bit. me Maddie Dahmer. Maddie Dahmer. <laughs> Do we get AKA. canceled for that? That was not. That was a. Because mm. I, I think eat, it's alright. Because I eat my opponents on the battlefield. The fantasy football <laughs> battlefield. <laughs> Wow. I was trying to save myself. Did I just bury myself <laughs> deeper? No, I mean... No, I, that probably helped, actually, yeah. 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 You turn it into fantasy. It's, it's good. Do I change my team name to Maddie Dome? <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Ooh, that sounds like a personal decision, dog. <laughs> but, I mean, does it does it help this situation? I don't know. Uh, definitely not. Tough for me say. to say. <laughs> tough for me to say, man. It's All tough. right, well, as my lawyer, what do you say? Uh, I would probably say do what makes you happy, bro. And um, well, my wife does not allow anal, so I guess I'll never be happy. Uh, <laughs> oh, so I just got it. I just, I just realized that a moment is never gonna happen. Cause I'll be like, can I get <laughs> anal? I'll be like, can I get anal? And she'll be like, give me a moment. 
Or just I'm the same thing. Oh, am, am I getting dessert tonight? She'd be like, give me a moment. I just realized that a moment See, it's is all, fake. It's all about context. It's all about context. A moment is fake and not real. <laughs> a moment is a fantasy. Yes. Bringing it all back full circle to fantasy football. Right. Fantasy. Um. Yeah, I don't know. Fuck it, you guys have any? I think you want to add, Brian? Mm, I don't think about it. I guess we did go on a little bit of a, a spree here. Spree. What, uh, what else do we got to get into? You guys want to hit a little... You know? Well, we got a preview next week, right? We got to see who's coming up next week. Oh, that is true. We do got to do that real quick. And then before we leave, we'll get into maybe a little two-minute warning. Two minute later on. We don't care about the fucking. <laughs> we have two matches to talk about. Nobody else in the slump bowls matter. So we do have. That boy sitting there atop. Oh shit, I just knocked the cherry on the ground. Lie to me, please, dog. Now, we got Amer- <laughs> America. What happened? Does he know what that is or not? Uh, what? Do you know what Casey's logo is? It's a picture of you. No, I know that like you know. Crazy oh, filter. like. I, that's you though. That's funny. Yeah, I can see it now. <laughs> you know, this whole time I was like, "Oh, I guess it's kind of what uh, Casey looks like." All right, cool. He's got some weird fucking hair. He looks like a fucking. Look like Buddy Man. She, like praying he, mantis. It was shit. it was from last season when we made everybody change to a photo of Lolo. <laughs> yeah. Nice. That's this one's pretty good too, though. Yeah, and we're we're waiting to see if he changes it to something for Casey, you know, because that was for when he played Michael. You know, he brought back a nice little throwback right there, America's Ass 360. That is a championship team from back in the day. Oh, wow. What's the 360 for? (laughs) Mike Skills 360. Okay. And it's a picture of Michael dressed up as Captain America, his favorite Avenger for some weird reason because he's dumb. Good old cap. I mean, he's cool and all, but he's like... Hey, he can wield the hammer, bro. Yeah, he can wiggle his hammer. That's about it. The hammer scene. And, you know, it's going to be a it's gonna be a shootout. We have a projected here of 165 to 160, and we do see here Casey is going with... Jared Goff, questionable to you know to to replace uh, what's his name Jalen, Jalen Hurts. Hurts. Yeah, tough luck with Jalen Hurts going out, man. But next next man up, baby, it's the playoffs, baby. And and let's see, like I said, man, no, not many people know. We're gonna see if if it can happen, Casey. Casey's made playoffs quite a number of times in my league. Jared Goff has some not decent points recently. Yeah, he's not bad. He's not bad. I've been starting him in my dynasty. But also questionable. And, uh, you know, Casey has never won a playoff game in my league. So I think this may be his first, maybe his second time getting a bye week. So we know, you know, based on that, never winning a playoff game, you would need a bye week. So let's see how it goes down. Let's see. I'm excited for the matchup. Yeah, let's let's see if he can overcome history. Can he make history and pull up this fucking win? Yeah. But America's ass is America's ass for a reason. Exactly. He is baby. pulling in that residual pain. Pain. You know? So. So we'll see what happens. And also, we would be remiss not to mention his quest to be champ, champ, interim champ, champ. Nah, it would be champ, champ, interim, yeah, champ, champ, interim, champ, champ. You're right. So that does have a Once nice again, fucking to ring to it, baby. So I think he's trying. He's trying. But again, you know, I haven't said it 
out loud, and I probably won't because it might jinx him, so I'm not going to say anything. Will he be the first three-time champ if he pulls off a win on this league at the end of it? Yeah. He'll be the first three-time champ I've ever heard of. But also, if I win in my league, I'm the first three-time champ as well. In which league? In the Thug Dog Football League. Oh, oh. But I thought you meant like back-to-back. No, not back-to-back. Three times. Oh, yeah, I mean, yeah. Well, he, I well, guess he's, he's not technically three times not. Either, so yeah, exactly. Three times. You're right, you're right. All right, all right. I'm so always right. Down. And we have this next one, you know, and I, I did quote a long time ago that uh, that where's the competition will not win a playoff game. So let's see if I it stay. It all comes down to this. Yeah, let's see if I stay true. You know, he is playing uh, our guy, Emoji King Housey. The 2020 GOAT himself. Yeah, so we'll see if, if this is the lineups they're sticking with. But right now, House is protect, protect, projected to edge him out the same way Braulio loves edging. And uh, we will uh, see what happens. Yep, yep, yep. We see a questionable designation to Nick Chubb because he did not practice today, which is Wednesday. But probably nothing. What was that? Just player management at its finest. Yeah. Yep. Those are our two semifinal matchups for this week. The winners of those two will face off in the finals next week. And uh, it's going to be a fucking banger either way because these teams are all smoking hot. Yeah, it is actually. You know, I like to see it. It is a, you know, it is pretty much the 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 the, the best it's anyone's, teams. It's anyone's season. It's and it, you know, it is the best four teams kind of up there. You know, besides uh, you know, my team missing from there, but you know, it's it's made the best man win. Who do you think is gonna win? Send your votes in this week. Is it shitting the bed or America's ass three sixty? Or is it where's the competition or FSU 2020 GOAT Sushi Stick House? Hey, let's ride. Let's ride. Playoffs? Let's, let's ride. ride. Semifinals? Let's, let's ride. ride. Stealing this from Russell Wilson? Let's, let's ride. ride. Shout out Russell Wilson, man. Shout out. Shout out Russell Wilson, dog. Uh, we're going to see you next season. I'm sure of it. The real you. That's what it's contract stipulates, yes. <laughs> so, uh, all right, well, we're done with the playoff talk. Yes, we are. So are we going to get into a two-minute warning before we get out of here? You tell me, baby. I Lay mean, it on me. Or Braulio. Uh, I mean, we'll, we'll, we'll do Braulio. I'll give one to Braulio. How about, how about? I give one to Braulio, Braulio gives one to you, and you give one to me. That's fine. I will set the time right here as well. One minute. Do you remember how two-minute warning works? Uh, yes, vaguely. All right. I guess in this case, it, in this case, it'll be a three-minute warning. But, uh, yeah, we basically give you a, a random topic, and you have to tell us uh, how much you know about that topic in 60 seconds. In 60 seconds. Yeah. You have warning. 60 seconds to eat. It's two-minute warning because <laughs> Listen, I go man. and he goes. So if you add that together, what's 60 plus 60? Okay. Two All minutes. Right. All right. Fair enough. Fair enough. All right. Like I said, I'll, this one will be con actually considered the three-minute warning because there's three of us. We're going to add a third one in there. Yeah. So, right. you know, as you are, is he the first guest of one the season? One and one and one. Huh? Is he the first guest of the season? He might actually be. Yeah, I don't. I don't remember anyone else. I think we've only had producers and live audience in front shows yeah, so far. I think yeah. so. All right, so I think I have one for you. All right, we're gonna put one minute up on the clock. It's locked and loaded. All right, and how much Braulio do you know about the Johto region? The Johto region. Yep. What, one minute starts now. Oof. That's a tough one because I have absolutely no knowledge of the Johto region. 
In fact, I'm not even sure where that would be. Is it in the Pacific? Is it in, I don't know, like near fucking Australia? I have no idea. Is it even a real place, really? Because it's coming from the mind of Matt. So it could just be a fictional fucking story that you read about one time. Who the fuck knows, honestly? So I'm just going to pretend it's just like, I don't know, like fucking Pokemon, like descending on it. You know, maybe I'm getting close. Maybe it's like some fucking like land where they come from or like trainers go. They catch certain types of Pokemon. That's really what I'm going off of, and it seems like it's hitting. Uh, maybe, I don't know, like, they the trainers are there, and they sprout from fucking the fucking know. ground or some shit. <laughs> it's like Greenlands there. Have you ever there. played any Pokemon? Uh, no. <laughs> so, there is that, yes. Yeah, well, luckily for you, your minute is up right now. Nice. All right. <laughs> Oh, God. Are you going to tell us what Johto is? Hopefully, I have to find a way to clip that because that could be what sends us viral. Because, yes, uh, you you started very far off. You got on the right track and then got off this, the tracks uh, right right away again. But, yes, nice. it is a – that would be the second region in Pokemon. So, okay, yeah, the first one is Kanto. Second. The second one is Johto. Ah, so, uh, yeah, you know. I, I, out of I, how many? Second out of how many? Out of nine now. But uh, I thought I I thought I just thought everybody played Pokemon. I didn't it didn't hit me till after where I remembered where like your mom your parents were more religious. Yeah, that's what happens when you so, grow yeah, up in a religious So household, I could have yeah. I should have just asked you about Pokemon, and I would have <laughs> maybe you would have probably at least been able to yeah, to to ramble a few. On. Do you yeah. re, do you remember their specific comments on Pokemon specifically or not? Because was it just like there were so little like devils parents. running around? Oh no! I think they just kind of categorized it as like that devil shit. Hearsay. Uh, yeah. yeah, and like oh, there's there's just little demons running around. So like fuck that shit. Don't don't watch it. Nah, don't bro, play. That was it. common though. It wasn't yeah. like you weren't I the mean, only one. Same shit with Harry kid. Potter. Like I wasn't allowed to read Harry Potter because oh, of the witchcraft. Because like, of with literal witchcraft. Yeah, they you, thought they were like you know sacrificing Harry people. Now, and shit. Oh yeah, I've read all the books and shit. Right. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, but that was, like I said, that was gold. Your rebellion was Harry reading Harry Potter. Bro, the best line ever. Bro, all <laughs> we need is that. All we need is that. All right, Johto region, go. I mean, is that somewhere in the Pacific? Like, bro, perfect. Is it from the market? Yeah, dog. Yeah, that, man, I don't know. Bro, you found you. I didn't know what the fuck that was either. Mind That's you, I don't know what good. the fuck that was. Well, I mean, I, I read context clues. I was like, I all right, this, is, this, is probably, this dude's probably talking about Sound like some like, Pokemon. Yeah. yeah. Well, That's what it is. As you started going, and then as soon as you said it and seen my face, you were like, all right, yeah, good to go. There it is. I know. I do love <laughs> respect to the way, for those of you not listening, I mean, for those of you not mm-hmm. watching and only listening, you guys got to you guys gotta see this because it was it was pretty good. He he found yeah. his way to it. He did. You know, respect. Respect. Respecto Patronum. For that, I'm going to do something Braulio doesn't do, and I'm going to smoke a mouth. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna smell. It's crazy that AI technology just you know. Smell. You've seen some of that AI, AI art um, shit. That shit is crazy. Oh yeah, that shit's wild. Yeah. Have you seen the one where the dude he yes. like AI's himself in different time periods? Yes. So he looks like he's with the fucking pyramids and shit. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah, it's fucking wild. Crazy. It's it's wild crazy. times. All right. Oh. So do you think? Did, did, were you trying to think of a? Were you trying to think of a? a yes. A topic for him? Yeah, oh, do you I have, have one? Yes. Oh, this is perfect. Okay, so I'm going to pass the timer to you, Matthew. All right. Oh, okay. We just hit start. Yep. All right. Oop, oops. Okay. All right. So whenever you're ready, the topic hit is me going with, to hold be... Hold on. Let me hit... Oh, of course. Of course. Hit me with it. All right. We're going to keep it topical. Topical. Huh? What do you know about AI? AI is one of the most revolutionary <laughs> genius displays of art and precision and beauty and choreography and when we talk about ai we talk about how it's uh taking over or might or might not take over um when ai i think has already taken over and by ai i'm talking about the answer number three alan iverson 
that's my motherfucking dog AI. Get the fuck out of here, bro. That's the real motherfucking AI <laughs> that's right the there, wrong baby. AI, dude. Fuck and wrong AR my ass. That is literally the answer. That is the correct AI. And what do I know about Allen Iverson? I know this motherfucker. <laughs> fuck that. This motherfucker was a MVP. This motherfucker was the greatest dude. <laughs> one of the top point guards of all time. Uh, that's that dude, man. That's that boy. That's that boy. Shout, shout out to the original AI. Because he, he was maybe born before Ain't the Ain't nothing first artificial AI. about that motherfucker. I'll tell you that much. May, do we know? Are we sure? <laughs> Was he the, I don't think so. Was he the original AI? Is that why his name is AI? Yeah. Ooh. Yeah. The only other AI I know is uh, Haley Joel Osment was in that shit. <laughs> I Robot? I never seen. Did you say Scarlett Johansson? That was Ghost in the Shell. What? <laughs> I said... You said Haley Joel Osment. Oh, oh my god. You heard that shit, right? Like, yeah. bro, no. Oh, yeah, I was weird. Yeah. <laughs> I never seen that movie. I just know he's in it. You seen that shit? What is it? AI? No. Nah. Alright, alright. Well, alright, like, so I, like, I gotta I like give you one. You went there. Yeah, yeah. Were you able to think of one or what? Uh, yeah, I was able to think of one actually. Alright, alright. I think I'm ready then. And like the great Braulio said, we're gonna keep it topical. Right? We're gonna keep it topical. And what do you know about sunscreen? You have one minute. Oh, thank God. I thought he was going to ask me about Allen Iverson. <laughs> yeah, like, All I don't right, know now, sunscreen is what most people would use to protect themselves from the sun. You know, obviously, but uh, since we are, since I'm born and raised in Florida, I obviously don't need that shit. I don't use sunscreen. If anything, I throw a little tanning oil, cocoa butter on that shit. You know, tan right up. But anyways, you know, sunscreen for, for people like Sean or my dad, <laughs> they would use like a SPF 120. Like, because the higher the SPF means the whiter your skin. So, you know, so definitely if my dad, if my dad ever shows his legs, that shit blinds, blinds you. So we actually could use him. My dad's actually hanging back there. He is our podcast light, so. For those of you that don't know that. But anyways, so I, uh, my daughter uses like a SPF 50, you know, that, you know, she has caramel skin, so it goes on nice. But, uh, like I said, it comes in numerous SPF, SPFs. What does SPF stand for? Sun proof formula? Sun something formula? Sun protection formula? Hmm, that's a good one, actually. I don't know that. I'm sorry, I don't know everything about sunscreen, but I do know your minute is up. But please keep going. Boat, this is great. That banana boat makes it mostly. So you know, not only do they make bananas and boats, they make sunscreen. So, um, I think that's 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 just about it. Mm-hmm. After a quick Google, you weren't off by much. Ooh, what is it? It's a sun protection factor. Ooh, factor. That's a, that's a trivia. Yeah. Tidbit right there. Hell yeah, we're gonna remember that shit for trivia. Sun protection trivia. Factor. Hopefully. Trivia. Which reminds me, my my my, my shout, shout out to me, my Mr. Potato Head. Knowledge. Shout out, Mr. Potato Head. What was that? The first toy to be know. advertised on television. That, that, oh, that's really? what it was, right? Mr. Potato okay. Head. That's cool. Crazy, I, I, crazy. I was trying to remember the question the other day. Probably and some like, Ed Sullivan shit. Now, Mr. Potato Head. I just I feel like I read it somewhere or may, they maybe they met even maybe they mentioned it in Toy Story, but like or I just read it somewhere or some shit I don't know. They could they maybe they didn't mention that in Toy Story that would make sense. Good job. And yeah, I said keep it topical, you know, like topical solution. Oh, I like that. Didn't. That's why that's why you were laughing. I thought you were laughing at me because like sunscreen meant something in the AI oh. world, and you were just like, oh, "That would be crazy." So That's like stupid. the name of a program or something. Yeah. That's the new fucking uh, what is it? The new Android software is gonna be called sunscreen. <laughs> <laughs> if there hasn't been already one called that. What is the current one called? What is it? Um, oh, fuck. Igloo. I haven't kept up. Klondike. <laughs> Lion Tamer. Mm, no, the, I think the Creamsicle. last one. Creamsicle. 
Shame Wizard. Isn't there one called Ice Cream Sandwich? Definitely. 100%. Yeah, I think that was like, fuck out of here. Definitely an older one. Nutter Butter? What the fuck are they going to call this one? Banana Boat. Definitely Banana Boat. If not banana sunscreen, split. banana boat. Banana split. Back in my day, we used to eat banana splits. Or we used to like go to a diner and get banana splits. I miss the diner days. Right? There's something sure. about that shit, bro. You want to go to a diner right now? Let's ride. Uh, yeah. I wouldn't mind. I got Please. a nice fucking uh, bacon, egg, and cheese. Let's go, baby. Hey, yeah. we about to ride to a diner? Hey, happy holidays, Dom. Merry Christmas. Yeah, happy this Hanukkah. This was our Christmas All episode, for those of you that don't know. We, are, we, we, you know, we have our Jew here. over here. He doesn't celebrate Christmas. Yep. So. <laughs> Definitely not true, but all right. Okay. <laughs> okay. Sorry. <laughs> all right. Just a guy that doesn't play Pokemon, so he doesn't celebrate Christmas. Yeah. yeah. Right. I'm just kidding. You celebrate Christmas. Yeah. He just, he doesn't, he doesn't have the Christmas spirit, y'all. I know. Yeah. I don't have any shirts or anything. He wasn't. So. He didn't get the memo. You know, he was a yeah. surprise guest. He came all the way here from Texas. Yeah, he came here to. He he was on his winter. way. He was hiking on his way here when he was uh, in the playoffs. And by the time he got here, he was out of the playoffs. Yeah. Yes, so, he yeah. hiked his way out of the playoffs. Yeah, <laughs> one could say that. Yes, mm-hmm. yes. Yeah. one could say that. Yeah. Yeah, he hopped on the ankle of JTT and rode right out of the playoffs. Yeah, but hey, look at I'll look on the bright side. You've won a couple bonuses this year. Am I correct? That's true, yeah. So, I've won, yeah. I think like two or three at least. There you go. You've won a couple bonuses. It's not all bad for you. You made it to this, the quarterfinals. Exactly. So yeah. you, you made playoffs. So, you know, you're, gonna, you're year you'll in be the back league. next year, right? Absolutely. Yeah, he's going nowhere, you know. He, is, he, he is. does support the pod heavily, unlike most of you pieces of shit. Yeah. Mm. Jordan. Mm. Patches. It's going to go down that list, huh? Casey. There you go. Um, shit, believe it or not, you know what? Who will? Sorry to Braulio for losing, but for, I don't, I'm going to put a hex right here. Boom, done, data. If you ain't watching the pod, you ain't winning the league, boy. There we go. So we got two people in playoffs that are watching the pod. They're about to go fucking duke it out in. Yeah, we're fucking everything up over here. We're breaking the set and shit. That's how hammed up we are. Tell them, tell them again, Matt. Say that shit louder we for them in the We duking back. them out, boy, in the fucking champ, champ, duke interim it. champ, champ duke versus. It. Longest also in the league. That would be a fucking an epic finals, though, because House and Chris are the only other people that have been in the league the whole time. Oh, man. Throughout its whole history. Yeah, wow. exactly. Battle previous, of the OGs. Previous Wookiesburg and now. So. Pre-Wookiesburg. We just exactly. call that uh, BC. It's prehistoric, baby. Prehistoric, the, yeah, the dark yeah. ages. Yeah, before Chewbacca. The times before the Big Bang, it was just nothing. Just that's why it's there. that's why it's BC before Chewbacca. Before Chewbacca, yes, yes. Title of the episode. Uh, I think it's gonna be "Stop Staring at My Package." Yes, for those of you that are not watching this episode, you have to at least go look at it real quick. Stop to staring see what at I'm my wearing. package. A Wookiesburg Christmas. You have to stop staring at my package, but as you do that, you stare at my package. And it's there for you. All you got to do is unwrap it. it. Yeah, and uh, we might not have mentioned it, but do not forget, everybody, support the podcast uh, at Anchor. Yes. Like and subscribe and follow us everywhere. Wookiesburg mm-hmm. at, on uh, Discord, Twitter, YouTube, Instagram, TikTok, yep. all the mm-hmm. good shit. Every, basically everywhere besides Facebook, man. You know, we don't fuck with the feds, so, you know. Yeah. That's how we roll. Yeah, kind of questionable. Their games are good, though. Yeah. Huh. Yeah. yeah, I mean, my mom still fucks with that shit. Mm-hmm. Farmville is still popular? She can't play. Mafia she hasn't Wars? played Farmville in a long time, but she plays Song Pop. Tetris? Ooh, Song Pop is a good one. Ooh, Tetris Friends. Tetris that was friends. a fucking man. Yeah. Matter of fact, we actually got to get out of here so we can go play some trivia on Netflix. <laughs> Shout out to Netflix for being our new sponsors. Shout out to Netflix. Day. Yes, we will be on uh, the first podcast to be on Netflix. I'll tell you that right now. I promise you. Ooh, we could, let's let's work on that. Promise you. All right, y'all. Merry time. Christmas. Peace. Merry Christmas. Right. Uh, Deuces. Netflix, come and holla at you. Come holla at your boy. Stop turning my package. <laughs>